Welcome back everyone. Today we are going to dive into how we can create a clay material inside of Maya. And this was actually a request by Andrea Salazar. He wanted to know how we can build a clay material inside of Unreal and Maya. So let's look into it. And before diving into it, I just want to say that Maya already has a preset library where there is a kind of a inbuilt material, which is a pretty basic material, but it will get the job done. Uh, and if you don't know about it, I've already covered a video on it. But in this video, we'll kind of dive into how the clay material actually works, what goes through building that shader. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is apply a new material. I have a pretty basic setup. I have just a Lambert material on the model. I have a backdrop and a simple HDR for the lighting purpose. And that's it. So let's click on this. Let's add a new material. Let's go to Arnold, stand surface, and we'll call this pretty much clay. And that's it. So the first thing I'm going to do is add a little bit of color, which will be the diffuse color. Let's turn this on. And uh, the color will be pretty much somewhere around like this brown color. As you can see, I've already have this kind of a chocolate color. And uh, you can pretty much use any color that you want. If you want to keep it a gray color, you can keep that. But I think for the clay purpose, the brown look will be pretty much nice so i'm going to keep it somewhere about right there for the starting purpose and i'm going to add a little bit of diffuse roughness to this just so the material look a bit roughened and now as you can see it looks pretty nice now the next thing we are going to do is as you can see the material is pretty shiny and usually the clay is not that much shiny so we have to increase the roughness amount on our speckler so i'm going to increase the roughness amount to somewhere about 0.400 maybe 500 depends uh, right now I think the material is looking fine but we can always go back and tweak anything that we don't like. Now the next thing we are going to do is pretty much add an anastrophe. An anastrophe is something that kind of a directional bias you can say. It kind of makes the material more glossier or more roughened depending upon the values. So if I make the value more on the positive direction it will kind of become more and more shininess. It kind of works best with brushed materials or metals. So I'm going to add just a little bit, maybe around like 500 or something, maybe four, totally depends. So don't make it one, it will just ruin the overall effect. So I'm going to keep it 2.5 or we can always go back and change. So now as you can see, we are getting somewhere and uh, we can add a little bit of coat. If you want that extra shininess, uh, you can add a little bit of coat and coat is just, you can say extra shininess on that, but make sure if you're using the coat, you're using the right amount of roughness because you cannot use a coat value of one and without having any amount of roughness that will make the overall material pretty shiny as you can see right here so we don't want that so make sure if you're using coat you can make the roughness a bit higher maybe around 0.3 so you can get that roughened look i'm not going to go for the overall coat here but there's a take so uh the next thing we have to do is add a little bit of subsurface scattering to the clay and i'm just going to add a little bit like maybe around 0.5 and uh, if you're using subsurface scattering as you can see the object becomes something like this translucent uh, if you're using subsurface scattering make sure you turn off the opaque and opaque is something that lets the overall light pass through your object so if you go to your model shape and anil make sure you turn this off by default it will be turned on so make sure you turn this off now the next thing is uh, i'm going to choose the same color for subsurface something like this let me turn this on and for the radius, I'm going to decrease as you can see the subsurface uh, scattering is kind of working all the way through because the radius is set to white, which means all the light is going to pass through this. And if you don't have any idea regarding the subsurface scattering, how this completely works, I've already covered a video on this. So make sure you check that out if you want to know more about this. And I'm just going to decrease the overall radius to something like a grayer value just so we don't have that much light passing through it and maybe and i'm going to switch the type to random walk to always use random walk to it's pretty good it's pretty good calculated and apart from that i think the overall material is good to go so this is how you create a clay material now a little bit extra to know about this if you want to make a rougher look you can pretty much increase the overall roughness on this maybe 0.8 and that will just make your clay more and more rougher if you're going for that look if you want a little bit of shininess you can decrease the roughness to get a certain type of look what kind of look you're going for and if the overall roughness uh, and you're still not satisfied with the overall look what you can do is maybe change the overall roughness to 0.400 and add a little bit of coat to this maybe 0.5 and with the coat increase the overall roughness you have on this so 
so now as you can see you get something like this look so it looks more like a clay material so play around with this you'll get to know and subsurface scattering is not mandatory in this if you want to use it use it if you don't want to use it install it's still not going to matter because uh, if you look at the overall material if i go to the overall coat and if i choose a dark color something like this and let me put something like this and make this one somewhere about right there all right so as you can see you can still get this kind of look without subsurface scattering if you're using uh, the subsurface scattering you do have to increase a kind of a samples amount on your subsurface scattering so that will just increase the overall render time which you do not want so it's not mandatory but if you have that much time and patience you can use it so the overall look is pretty good apart from that if you are working on a project and you don't have the overall time to build the overall clay material by yourself what you can do is if you go to the preset menu as you can see you have you have all these preset inbuilt uh, inside of the arnel which is pretty great and this is just a, a pretty basic material it's not like too complex and you have a clay material right about here and as you can see it looks something like this so you can use it if you want but i highly suggest making your own material or at least uh, understanding the overall parameter how it kind of builds the overall shader and apart from that the library is pretty good if you are into rush or anything if you want to just get the project done i think preset library is pretty good and uh, yeah that's it so again guys thank you for watching if you have any question or doubt or if there's something you want me to cover feel free to mention it in the comment section below and i hope you got the overall concept behind this how this actually works and apart from that it's pretty easy to use the material is pretty easy to build um, but make sure you dive more into how to build this kind of look uh, the more you dive into the parameters you'll get to know more about the materials and experiment with this and if you do create something out of this please send me on instagram i love to see your work and apart from that thank you for watching